praise the Lord today hallelujah this is another video about the e-sword I wanted to make this video we've been talking about making this Sharon and I to give you an update on all the updates they've given and their great tool here Rick Myers has done a wonderful work uh, that the Lord laid on his heart to do uh, with this e-sword now the e-sword you can download directly into your computer and you don't have to be online to use it and if the internet ever went off for a few days or whatever if you have problems the e-sword's still there and still working uh, as long as you have electricity praise God um, but this is the the Bible part of the e-sword where all the words you can see this is 1 Kings 19 verse 1 and you see these numbers here this is the the Strong's concordance definition of each word or clause or you know a conjunction of words you'll get the you'll get the definition right there that's Ahab you know and the definition is the second form used once by contradiction uh, it means brother okay that is a friend that's 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 his name that's what his name means but we know the story of Ahab I mean sometimes people do not live up to the character of their name hallelujah uh, and Ahab was certainly one of those people okay and this is the story of course of Elijah after he had killed the prophets of Baal and of Astarte uh, Jezebel's prophets and then you see the the name Jezebel there and even the name Jezebel she didn't live up to her character look at this definition on her name it means chaste <laughs> the wife of King Ahab Jezebel chaste now I want to show you this all the little I want to show you these things here okay come down here these are the dictionaries okay right now I've got the faucet dictionary of all these words in the Bible over here like I'm, I've got prophet up right now but you can look up all the different names of people uh, you know different people in the Bible and you just click on them I'll just go up here grab a hold of that seek bar you just not believe all the stuff you get when you get e-sword and it's just a great uh, like here's Jude let's go to Jude and you click that and here's all the the stuff about Jude right here that this man Fawcett had accumulated it's such a great resource uh, to just learn about people in the Bible because all the people that are mentioned in the Bible except Jesus Christ were people like us I mean they they went through life they struggled they had times you know of going through things and and uh, and, and walking by faith and so there's so much to learn and so much to to uh, pattern our life after the good or when we read it we see oh I'm just like that bad person you know and we have to repent and get right with God but you see these these dictionaries now when you're in the Old Testament you're in the Hebrew now that's BDB stands for Brown Drivers Briggs Dictionary it's a it's a word dictionary that when you you go up here to Jezebel and you see what her name means chaste Jezebel the wife of King Ahab okay that's the Strong's definition when you click the number you just click the number and it pops up down here under this new dictionary and so then you see what Brown Drivers Briggs says it says Jezebel equals Baal exists or Baal is husband to or unchaste Queen of Israel wife of Ahab daughter of Et Baal okay now when you go to the New Testament okay here's what I like about Esau you come up here with your cursor and you put it right there and boom all the books open up and you scroll down and you let's go to the New Testament let's go to 1 Thessalonians no 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 because while I'm doing this I'm bringing you a little teaching too here we go chapter 2 now you see the words here 
let's look at beseech. Paul says, Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him. Okay? We beseech. Beseech means it's, it shows you what word it's from, and then it says to interrogate, by implication, to request, ask, beseech, desire, entreat, pray. Okay? So a lot of times when you're reading the Bible you, and you're studying, okay, you have to look at the context of each word and see exactly which way it's, it means to be used, okay? Paul's praying. Paul is entreating them. He's desiring them to understand something here, okay? And so when you go down, when you get to the New Testament, you come down to your dictionaries and you click there, okay? There. And the Thayer Dictionary, you go back up and you click that number next to Beseech. And when you click it, here comes the, the Thayer definition. To question, to ask, to request, entreat, beg, beseech. So you get two different definitions. This is all involved with this eSword. It's a very good, it's a very good, good, good tool for the Christian to have. Now I want to show you this up here. These are all the different Bible versions that I've downloaded into the computer. Okay. I have a King James Version and KJV Plus is where the numbers are. And then I have this LITV Version. This is the literal translation of the Holy Bible. And that's by J.P. Green. J.P. Green was a great man of God who really put together a really good Bible with the interlinear Bible. And that Bible is on here. I'm going to click that and watch its screen change. Boom. Now you have the literal interpretation of the same chapter. There's so much on here I don't know how to use, but I know how to use a lot of it. I want to bring you down to this one verse here. We're going to start at verse number 8. Okay. And the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume by the spirit of his mouth and will bring to naught by the brightness of his presence. His coming, the lawless one, is according to the working of Satan in all power and miraculous signs and lying wonders. And in all deceit of unrighteousness. Now you see this little comma right there, lying wonders. And in all deceit. See, Satan's working, okay, his let me get back up here to verse number 9. His coming is according to the working of Satan, okay? The lawless one, all right? In all power and miraculous signs and lying wonders. And in all the seed of unrighteousness. In those being lost. Because they did not receive the love of the truth in order for them to be saved. And because of this... God will send to them a working of error. See that? For them to believe the lie. To believe the lie. That they all might be judged, those not believing the truth. See? But who have delighted in unrighteousness. They don't believe the truth. Many people today don't believe the Bible. They believe it has lies in it deal with lies. Well, it tells stories about people that did lie and their judgment that happened to them. It tells the story like, let me jump over there. Watch this. You jump over to Revelations. See? And you go to chapter 21. And then you go down to verse number 8. And you say, but for the cowardly and unbelieving and those having become foul and murderers and fornicators and sorcerers and idolaters and all the lying ones their part will be in the lake burning with fire and brimstone which is the second death now you can click that number watch this and then it'll stay in now let me show you this other thing check this out I just click Revelation 21 8 over here boom boom you have commentaries okay you get these commentaries this is a powerful bid praise God this is the TSK which stands for treasury of scriptural knowledge okay 
21 8 revelation the fearful look at all these references talking about the fearful look at that you see that and when you put your cursor on there watch this in Deuteronomy 20 verse 8 boom there's the verse see look at that and this is a very powerful tool when you click you go over here and click the next verse 29 21 9 Revelation that's going to change it's going to give you more verses to look up you see and you all this is free you download all this stuff free now this is the Psalms check this out nothing will come up wait a minute what happened oh I messed up well no I gotta go over to the book of the Psalms this is a wonderful tool I love this tool and just click Psalm 10 BAM and this is the commentary by Charles Spurgeon on the whole book of the Psalms every single chapter you get Spurgeon's it's just awesome you know his thoughts and what the Lord showed him about the Psalms and boy you just really grow in faith when you when you just see oh wow yeah that's my life yeah that's what's going on with me you know and you know you recognize and you're able to discern that's of the Lord that's of the flesh and that's of the devil or that's of the world and you can throw out the world the devil and the flesh hallelujah and you can walk with the Lord in faith and truth hallelujah now down here we have study notes this is a study note you can put all your own notes you can cut and paste to put descriptions or whatever or make emails or whatever and then they have a new deal now called journal notes and you can put stuff in there too start typing it's got all the different fonts and colors and this is just a really great tool now here's another thing you can look up this is the Webster's 1828 dictionary and you just click that and and you have to wait for it to load it'll it'll load it takes a couple seconds for it to load maybe if you have a faster computer it won't but you'll see what I mean and there it is all the words in this 1828 Webster's dictionary and you just click one wrote R-O-T-E and there's the definition see so this is a very good uh, tool for God's people to have now I want to show you this other thing let's go back to the KJV plus and let's go back up here to the back key and you can go click okay it took me back to Revelation 21 click again click again click again I'm back to 2nd Thessalonians 2 1 praise God 